recording, 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 boom. One of the requests that we get the most often is, do you have a round coffee table or dining table? And in fact, as of today, we do. That's exactly what we're gonna be sharing with you today. Ashley has designed the cutest coffee table, and guess how much she built it for? $39.87. That's amazing. And all you need to build it is seven two by six boards cut to size, a plunge router, a hole saw cutter, a drill, and a pin nailer, and your Craig jig. So step one is to plank the top and the bottom of this coffee table. Now they're the exact same thing, so we're gonna do one to start. Well, let's talk about these boards, because step one is actually gonna be to rip these boards down to five inches. We have a video on that, so be sure to click the description box below. We'll be linking to it, we won't forget. That's just gonna allow us to butt our boards up together real tight and have no crumb catchers. Okay, so we've got pocket holes facing into each other. This second to last one is going to have a couple that go into there and that's it. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Great design, Ash. Well, you know. Now, these are one and a half inch pocket holes and we're gonna be attaching everything with two and a half inch pocket hole screws. Also, in the description box, you can find a link to the free plans that will show you where all these wonderful pocket holes go. And Ashley, explain to them why they really matter on this. So, when you're building a plank tabletop that's round, if you have a pocket hole going out the wrong way or going too close to the edge, you can take your bit through that screw and it could bust your bit. It's like, it sounds like you may talk from experience here. A few times, yeah. <laughs> but this, if you follow this, I've got the measurements for where to put those pocket holes and if you follow that, you'll be golden. There so, you go. Um, let's start by attaching, I'll start on this side and you start on that side. Okay, Let's see who finishes first. One key to this, I've got it on the plans. You need to make sure that these are evenly spaced Let's refer to the plans for that, and we're gonna attach the first planks together using two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. So this table is actually super easy to build. It looks a little bit intimidating maybe, but if you can plank a tabletop, we're gonna show you how to cut a perfect circle. You do that two times, add some legs, and you've got yourself a round coffee table. Short arms, big reach. Uh-oh. I did mine wrong. Actually, I did mine completely wrong. All right, now we need to marry them together. So now we're pushing both sides together. Okay. And we're gonna attach these with pocket hole screws. All right. Okay. We got them attached. This one's done. We're gonna do another one just like it. All right, now we've got the top and bottom planked and now it's time to cut the circles. All right, I am marking center of this plank tabletop. All right, and I've marked where I want the jig to be attached. Then I'm gonna place it in there. That will be dead center. All right, and I'm attaching a little screw right in the center. And we've got it clamped right here. We're gonna have to move the clamp as we go. When you set the plunge router, you just need to make sure to only do a little bit at a time. So I go about a little over half an inch each pass. That way you don't break your bit. Turn it on. Okay, so come look over here. You can see I've almost gone three quarters of an inch the waist down. I'm going to make it a little bit deeper on the plunge router next time. I'll go around two more times and we'll be ready to roll. Roll them! We're such losers. Okay. Circles are cut. We're gonna start with one. Let's make that one the top. So we'll set that one here, I'll move mine. Okay. And we'll put yours Ooh. on the table. Look at that beast mode right there. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. 
We're gonna start with the top of the tabletop upside down and we are gonna get our legs that we cut. So our legs are just two by two boards that we've cut just the same way we ripped down our two by sixes. We've made them two by twos. This is a lot more inexpensive than purchasing two by twos at your store. And we have drilled two and a half inch pocket holes on one end of each of the legs. The reason that we're doing that is because we're going to put the pocket holes into the top of the tabletop and that way when it's flipped right side up, you're not gonna see the pocket holes and then we're going to use wood screws from the bottom into it. That way we don't have any pocket holes that we have to cover up. Genius. So we are going to line these two by two legs up at the center point of the circle, like four spots. Yeah. So we know that this is center where the two planks met. So we're gonna go there and we're gonna center it and pull it in three quarters of an inch. You don't have to remember that because we have the free printable plans that you can download in the description box below. And because we have short arms, we are going to push this guy this way a little bit so mama can reach it. So a little bit of wood glue, center it up, and we're attaching these with two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. You have a much better angle than I do. I do. That's why I always pick this side. Yeah. It's all becoming clear to me now. <laughs> kind of a little Celine Dionish. What? It's all coming back <laughs> to me now. It's all coming. It's all coming. One more. Nice. Nice. Okay, Attached. so now we're gonna twist it around and do the exact same thing. You know, Ash, there are not a whole lot of round. Sorry about that round coffee table plans out there. There's really not, and I think it's because people are a little bit intimidated to do a round cut on a tabletop. We're gonna take that intimidation factor out. I've got a rectangular five foot coffee table in my living room right now, and I've got two long couches on either side of it, and I always think how much more open mm -hmm. my living area would look if I had a round tabletop there, and then I've got my fireplace that's a rectangle, so it would kind of add a little bit more dimension, too. Well, after today, you're gonna have one. I am, and we're gonna have one in our office because we're building two. The legs are on, so now we need to put the bottom on top of these legs. Roll them. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. Want to make sure that our pocket holes on this part are facing up because that's the bottom of the table. So let's lift this bad boy up. We're not going to eyeball. We're actually going to go measure this. Make sure it's three quarters of an inch and on our seam, three quarters of an inch from each side. Once we have that place, we'll add some wood glue on each leg. And you also want to make sure that your planks are going the exact same direction as the other round top. Okay, so this is the bottom of the coffee table, so we're gonna use wood screws to go in from the bottom and into those legs. That way we're not gonna have any holes to hide. So y'all can see here that the pocket holes are on the inside of each leg right here, but on this side they're not, and that's where Ashley is going to be attaching. Show them how it's done, sister. Bada bean. Bada wood screw. Flip this around, get the last one. If it looks like we're struggling, it's because we are. It's a heavy beast of a table. All right, last leg done. All right, it's looking like an upside down coffee table now. But it's time to do those corbels and we have a super easy, fun trick for that. So let's get this moved off the table and get to work. Okay, all right, so this is the trick that we're gonna do to get those corbels. We need 16 corbels, and if you've ever cut corbels with a jigsaw, you know it's a little crazy, and these are teeny tiny. So we're, I tried to come up with like an easy way that everybody could do it very quickly. So, first step is I cut a two by four from one of my two by sixes. So it's three and a half inches wide, and I'm gonna go along, and I've got another scrap two by four, and I'm just going to mark a three and a half inch square right there. I'm gonna step it out a little bit more and I'm gonna mark for another one. And then same thing. Okay, so I've got four individual squares right there. Each square is gonna make what, uh, four corbels. So next we need a hole saw cutter. This is a two and a half inch hole saw cutter and it will cut up to one and a half inches of a hole deep. And we will be linking to that in the description box, people. All you have to do is put it on your drill. 
So we are going to, you need a scrap board under it just in case you go through. You shouldn't, but just to be safe. And then we're going to clamp it. Always clamp because this guy gives a lot of torque. All right, we're going to mark center of each one of these squares. So I know it's going to be 1.75 and 1.75. And that'll give me the spot that I can go into with the hole saw. Line your bit up on that center mark and cut a hole. Okay, I've got one hole cut. I'm gonna work my way down onto all four squares and then we're going to take it to the table saw and rip it right down the middle of those circles. If you have any questions, be sure to go check out our website. We're gonna give a very detailed explanation of this to help you out. All right, so we just ripped those holes down the middle of the board and then we cut each little individual corbel. So we have 16 corbels just like that. Yeah, I think it's such an easy and smart way to make them rather than cutting them all individually. Time saver. If you don't have a whole saw cutter, you can use a jigsaw, but when you try to cut through two inch thick wood, the blade tends to bend and then your corbels end up looking kind of funny. Yeah, that's not very much fun. Let's get these put on the table. I'm gonna move these out of the way. We're gonna bring this bad boy back in. Beast mode. Whoop. Done. <laughs> like that. Okay, so this is where we're going to attach the corbels, and we're gonna do that with wood glue and pin nails. To attach these to the legs, we're adding wood glue on each flat surface, and then we're butting them up against each table leg and the base and top, and we're attaching those with one inch pin nails. Okay, all done. This is so cute. And for only $40. Ah. All right, the table is done. How easy was that? It was so easy, and I will say, this looks like a really expensive table. Secret's ours, it's $39.87. And think about how many different ways you could decorate it. I could see it in a stain, a paint, so many different ways, and so many different styles. All right, you guys, so that is it. We love our brand new coffee table. If you build it, make sure that you share it with us on social media and use hashtag shanty to chic. And circle back next week. You don't want to miss a video. See what she did there? <laughs> going to be, whoop, ignore this. Eyes closed. You can leave it. Oh, ignore this. You want to take these off? I think okay. I do. Okay. All right, we've got, but, all right, we've got, <clears throat> all right. Ow, oh, splinter. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> so not worth the fun of bleeding. Cut, I'm bleeding. Hold on, sorry. Get it? Cut, Cut. he's bleeding. <laughs> all because we were trying to be funny. <laughs>